Hello and welcome to PP Studios. Today we will we will be learning how to make some baked cinnamon apples. Okay, your ingredients that you need are apples, preferably green apples. Um, this is great to do with um overripe apples because um you can't taste that they're overripe, but um you can also use ripe apples as well. Um, today we're using green apples, but you could also use red apples if you'd like. We also have some some ground cinnamon as well as sugar. So these are your ingredients that you need. You also need a bowl, a cutting board, a knife, and a and a peeler. So let's get to it. Okay, so I'm gonna take this apple. This is an overripe apple, and I'm just gonna peel it. And I'm gonna continue peeling till I am all the way until you are all the way done like this. As you can tell, it's a little bruised because it's an older apple. So then you're going to take your knife and you're going to just cut it like you would normally slice your apples. So then after you've cut your apples, you're going to do this about three more times. So you're going to need just about three apples uh, to do this. And then once you're done, you can just pour it into a bowl. And this will be where you put the seasoning in. So you can see I've, did, I've done more than three apples, but um, you can do as many or as little as you like. Um, I've done about five apples I'd say and then I have two more over there that I will add soon and now we are going to add in the um, cinnamon and sugar so now we are going to season it you're gonna take your you know, your regular spoon you're gonna get a full scoop and just pour it all around and then your ground cinnamon and you're going to just softly shake it everywhere. You don't want to do too much of this because if you do the flavor will be way too overpowering and then it won't taste as good. So you just need a slight amount of that and then you're going to mix it around, toss it, The easiest way to do this is to put some tin foil on a pan. Um, so we're just using the pan as a support system because it, with the tin foil, it adds a sort of juiciness to the apples. So, um, and we're doing this so it doesn't dry out, or else if if we didn't do the tin foil, then it'd be extremely dry and kind of yucky. It's very tender if you do it this way. Then you're going to fold it up, put sheet on top, and then wrap it up like a present. Then you're all set. So the way that we did it is we are preheating the oven to um, 400 degrees, but another option is you can... Your other option is to just pop it right in, and that works too, you know? So now you're going to put it in on the cookie sheet, and then you're going to start a timer for 30 minutes. Okay, so while we are waiting for the apples to bake, 
we will be moving on to an appetizer. That is very, it's like a veggie appetizer. So you're going to start with a cucumber, some tomatoes, um, an onion, and you don't, you won't need a whole onion, just pieces of an onion and some carrots. So first, I always like to start with a cucumber. And usually I just do one cucumber. Um, you can either skin it or not. I'm going to just do half and half because I know some people like it skinned and others don't. This is a great, um, you know, thing to make if you're like a little hungry and you just have a bunch of veggies around. Um, I make this a lot for lunch before I have my sandwich or main part of my lunch. Okay, so this is almost done pe being peeled, and we're going to just leave that extra bit. That's fine. Then you're going to take the peels and throw them out, and then you're just going to cut these into discs. Um, try to make sure they're even, but it doesn't matter how thick or thin it is. I personally prefer it to be a little thick, more thick than thin, because these will be the base of our... It's almost like a little tower. So these are going to be the base. So try to make it as horizontal or up and down as you can, you know, so it lays flat. So then you're going to lay all of them out, almost like little podiums. Okay, then you are going to move on to the carrots. So let's flip this around. You pro I probably won't need this many carrots. But you're just going to cut them into little discs. You won't be able to use the ends because this is like the next, you know, step on your podium. You know, it's going to be almost like a little tower. I prefer uh, the thicker ones, the ones that have more of a volume, you know, um, because it, it's easier because we're going to put other stuff on top of these so it's a lot harder with the little ones if you do however only have the little tiny ones then you can just put the onion next to it and we'll get that to that in a minute golly it's smelling good in here already i can smell that cinnamon and the carrot it's so yummy or not the carrot but the apple and now we're gonna move on to the onion and then we're just gonna Kind of like a couple shreds of it, you know. We're not going to be using the center part, but more of this part. So you don't need too much of it. I'm just going to do it a little more because I like the onion on it. You can, of course, always like choose not to do some of them. All right, after you have like this circular part of it, you're going to take your knife and cut it almost like inwards, almost like you're cutting a pizza. And I probably won't need this much onion, but just in case. Okay, so then you're going to take your piece of onion that you have. So you're going to, and then you either put it on top of the carrot. So you're either going to put it on top of the carrot, or with the smaller ones, you can put it next to the carrot. That could be like a fun little monster face if you were making this for a Halloween snack. So after you put all of those on, all right. So once you have all of your onion on the um carrot, let's flip this on all of the onion um next to or on top of the carrot, you are going to move on to the tomatoes. So I just usually cut them in half, but you have to be careful with tomatoes because they're kind of slippery. And then you're just gonna take the tomato and put it. Uh, try to put it on top of the carrot. Um, and if you can't, again, you can just improvise by putting, like, moving those two over and then putting it all like that if you want. So, okay, so my timer just went off for the um, baked apples. So I'm going to go in and get them. So this is our apples. I'm going to um, unwrap them. Okay, so we're going to unwrap it. I'm just preparing myself for the smell. It's very hot. Ooh. Hot. Just 
game alone. And look at that. Look how nice and mushy they look. Sometimes it even like smells like um or tastes like um applesauce, cinnamon applesauce. Okay, let's get to plating. Okay, so we have our first dish right here. Our apples. On top here we have um some strawberries and a garnish of mint. Um this is great to do if you have, you know, some overripe apples and it's just so fast and so easy. And it's the same for these little appetizers. These are a little harder as you can tell some of them fell over here and there, but these are delicious as well. So, I hope you enjoy I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop a like and subscribe and tell us if you um enjoy these cooking episodes so then that way maybe we can add some more maybe some desserts or sweets next time but thanks for watching vp studios over now